much for her. Well, you don't want people to, anticipate. I think, yeah, I yeah. think anticipate and also you're expecting something. And for a lot of people, it's so subtle that they're like, wow, I d it's so subtle that I mm -hmm. almost missed it, which I think is beautiful. It doesn't mm -hmm. hit you over the head. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's, a, it's more layered than it appears to be and yeah. from afar. Now, I, I know Diablo wrote this right after she gave birth to her third, so it's a lot of her feelings. Was, was there stuff in there that you say, yes, I, I know what you, words you're going through to the character? Very much, yeah. yeah. I, I was also just coming out of it. I, my, my second baby, um, she's around seven months when I got the script. So I was just coming on the other side of the sleepless nights and stuff like that. So it felt very familiar yeah. to me. Had you ever heard of a night nanny? I hadn't. Yeah. I was fascinated that people brought these strange people into their house at night. They, they just kind of come and go without everyone knowing they're there. Yeah, it's the most intimate relationship I can imagine with somebody that you wouldn't know really at all. But you invite them into like the most intimate rooms and the most vulnerable members of your family's lives. It's, um, it's I imagine, so wonderful if you can find a good one, but just harrowing to hunt for. Yeah, and your character's supposed to get some rest, I, I know, but you, you do cross, I, is that, I, I don't want to give away the story. Yeah, let's you know, not ruin how it. How do we yes. talk, no, but um, what, I, let's talk about the night nanny thing. That's something interesting. Have you ever heard of a night nanny? And have yeah. you gotten yourself a night nanny? I, I, um, I did not have a night nanny, just I didn't go through pregnancies myself. Um, I think when you go through pregnancy, it's a lot yeah. to have to go home and wake up every two hours when your body is still healing and your hormones are all over the place and you're exhausted. I didn't have that, so, um, and I also, I, my mother was really helpful. She lives right up the road yeah. and um, it was easier to ask her help. Um, but you know, when my kids got a little older, once I got out of that, that place, uh, I didn't, it wasn't hard for me to decide to get um, additional help, you know? When, when you, I know you work hard and there's times you get tired. On this role, were you actually, could you go to work and say, okay, I can be tired today for this role? Or is it? I was exhausted on this film. <laughs> I mean, I just, I had to gain quite a bit of weight and I didn't necessarily think do it in the healthiest way. I, I ate a lot of processed foods and a lot of sugar and dealt with depression for the first time in my yeah. life. Um, I had my own kids there. So I was working with two sets of twins uh, and uh, our two um, child actors. And then I would, and my kids, one would be on set, one was in a little school there. And then I'd go home and have to deal with my own kids. And I was very lucky to have my mom out there because there were nights where I just literally like sat on the couch. And it was like. Oh. I had the trailer opposite hers and we like <laughs> come off from set for lunch and the door to my trailer would open and it would just be this like dark cavern and Charlize's would open it would be like a carnival inside <laughs> of like children screaming and crafts and like a mother grabbing a baby. <laughs> and it was um, such a window into a world. <laughs> it just never stopped. I, I was like living the movie 24 hours a day. 